During this video, we are going to explain the difference between the EKS or soundings type of survey system and the VLF scan that we use here at the Water Prospector. One advantage the VLF system has is that it's completely portable. If we can hike it, we can survey it. Here is a large flat parcel of land. We would use a grid pattern to scan this property. Since our survey is mobile and we all we have to do is hike the property, this is something we can do very cost effectively since it doesn't take us that long to hike a property like this using a grid pattern. This type of scan will allow us to detect any aquifers that may be underneath this property. As you see on this graphic, the blue aquifer would be detected over several of our scan lines. Since our scans are continuous, we leave no gaps in our data. The EKS system is not portable. It requires access for a vehicle to pull up to every location that they check. In difficult terrain, this can obviously cause problems. Now the graphic is showing the same property using the EKS seismic sounding method. Each yellow circle represents one sounding, which is about a 50 foot diameter area. There is a lot of setup involved for each sounding, which makes this a slow and very expensive method. Because of this, there are usually large gaps between each sounding. These gaps can cause you to miss a good aquifer. Since soundings are so expensive and time consuming, some surveyors opt for a more random approach, especially on large properties. This next graphic shows an example of the same parcel, but doing a random approach utilizing EKS seismic soundings. This approach requires a great deal of luck to be successful. There are far too many gaps that could miss potential groundwater aquifers in this type of survey. The VLF scan in a grid pattern is a much more effective approach. The VLF method also allows us to see a visual image of what the aquifer looks like. This allows us to accurately pinpoint where the driller should drill into the target to get the most water out of each aquifer. This scan shows how we were able to pinpoint the deepest part of this aquifer to get the best results. The VLF method is excellent for hard rock surveys. The EKS system does not work as well in hard rock environments. Here is information taken from the GroundFlow website, who is the manufacturer of that system, showing that they do not recommend using this system in hard rock cavernous situations. Properties with steep terrain and limited access should not use the EKS system. Since they have to be able to pull up their vehicle to each spot they check, this can greatly reduce your survey area, which can greatly affect the chances of success on your property. This property has very limited access and difficult terrain. Here you can see each sounding can only be done next to the dirt road. Most of this property cannot be surveyed using soundings due to the limited access. Due to the high cost, there will also be many gaps in between the soundings, which again is not an ideal way to approach a property. Leaving these large gaps in the survey requires way too much luck to be successful. You could do more soundings to close those gaps but that will become very expensive. The VLF method is not only more cost effective, it is also very versatile. Now let me show you the same property utilizing the VLF scan. As you can see, we will still utilize the same dirt roads, but there will be no gaps in any of our data. We can't utilize a grid pattern for this type of property but we will scan all accessible parts of this property to ensure we detect as many targets as possible. Now you can see why the VLF scan system 
is far more versatile and affordable compared to the EKS seismic sounding system. If you have any questions or would like more information, please contact us. We'll be happy to answer your questions.